Hey learners, welcome back to Lauren Learns. Today I want to talk to you about how I'm learning to break up with my phone. If you haven't already subscribed but you've been watching these videos, please, please, please subscribe. It would really help me grow this channel and learn more about editing and media and all these things that I'm trying to do simultaneously, to simultaneously by having a YouTube channel. It is also my goal this year to produce more media than I consume. So I don't know if that like is sustainable, but <laughs> we're gonna try it out. And I'm still committed to 100 videos and po blog posts at www.laurenlearns.org. If you haven't already started going there, please go check it out. It's been a lot of fun learning how to write again because I'm not in college. I don't have to do it. It's just fun. Breaking up with my phone. I've done a lot of research over the last couple weeks and I've realized likes for Piper, likes for Piper. She's so funny. She like sits everywhere I just, I'm working, just comes to sit. And so tip number one is use airplane mode. And that's pretty self-explanatory. Then you're not getting the barrage of texts and phone calls and um, ringer dingers all day long while you're trying to get stuff done. Piper, seriously, seriously. Okay, just come over here. Okay, so tip number two, <laughs> leave your phone um, in your car. That could be another option if you're going out and you're not ready to like completely disengage from your phone for long periods of time, but maybe just having it available, just not on hand. Tip number three, um, turning off all your notifications or re really utilizing that do not disturb mode, DND as I like to call it. I put that on from about 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. While I'm sleeping, that's no phone calls, no texts, no nothing. Ain't no one calling me in the middle of the night. And if you are, I'm sorry, I'm asleep. <laughs> the other point of that would be um, during the day, I only leave my ringer on. So I leave like another do not disturb setting going uh, with just my ringer because my son's at school. And the texts and emails and all those things, they just wait until I get to them. I've decided like I, I decide where my attention goes. And right now I feel like it's more important to focus on my kids and my family and giving the people in front of me my attention. So if you ever text me and I don't answer, sorry, that's probably why. <laughs> Tip number four, delete apps that you don't otherwise use or that create a lot of dead space in your life. Um, if Facebook or Instagram are a problem for you, I say delete them. Um, I have started doing all of my social media on my laptop and I find this really works for me because then I intentionally come to my laptop space and I do all the things I got to do and I leave it there. I'm not like walking around on Instagram. Um, number, bye -bye. Bye -bye. <laughs> number five, uh, find a replacement hobby. I really like this one. And I found that I guess I've kind of already been doing it in the last year or so, but I really come to enjoy reading. I used to hate reading because it was like mandatory for school and, but I really, I joined a book club and I have all this extra time now to read and I'm excited to like up my reading goal for 2019. But yeah, find something you enjoy to do. Make a cup of coffee, make some tea, knit. You don't have to be on your phone if you don't want to be. Yeah, that's fair, right? And tip number six, my personal favorite, one of my personal favorites from all of these is live your life on purpose. We only get one of these guys. You got to you got to live intentionally. You got to live your time the way you want to live it. Have boundaries. That was a life-changing book for me, by the way. I need to do another video on that cuz once I learned about having boundaries for myself and my time and and what I want out of my life, it just was a game changer and I could decide where my time goes and where my attention goes and it kind of sounds selfish but actually in the, in the book it talks about it's not selfishness it's stewardship you are taking care of what of your god-given time and that's important for us to to manage and um to not waste it away just because we're bored or tired like let's live life on purpose shall we that's been one of my favorites and I, I'm excited to continue to learn that into 2019 and use all these tips and tricks. If you have any other tips and tricks for your phone usage and how you manage your time on that, please comment in the comments below. And like I said, if you haven't already subscribed, please, please help me grow this channel. I'm so excited to be doing this. Um, it's been kind of an interesting little journey and I'm gonna continue until I get to that 100. And like I said, I'll reevaluate then. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching and following this channel. 
As always, go get messy, have fun, learn, and I'll see you next time.